Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and today I'm going to go deep into Monopoly, the history of Monopoly, the worst versions of Monopoly. And all of this is happening because Hasbro just announced Miss Monopoly. Uh, look, I don't have a problem with Miss Monopoly, the idea of sort of empowering women with a version of Monopoly. Hey, that sounds fun. We've had a million stupid Monopolies, which I'll get into later. Uh, so who cares if they made one for women? More power to them. And apparently the game's about women inventors uh, they, that invented the bulletproof vest, chocolate chip cookies, whatever, all the things that they've done. Great. Let's learn about this and inspire our youth. I'm all about it. But here's where Twitter and myself and many others are getting frustrated. This is the first game where women make more than men. That's right. They are going to handle the gender pay gap debate, which, let's be honest, is a fair debate. Uh, I, I, I don't want to get into that in the comments. I know some of my audience may be like, no, but no, it's a problem, guys. We should all be paid equally. Uh, and women definitely are historically paid way less than their male counterparts. And that's not right. A lot of them do the same amount of work and still don't get the same amount of pay. We got to fix that problem. And so I'm all for fixing that problem but not on game night with my family. I want to enjoy my game and I don't want to cheat and I don't want a handout for my daughter, for my anybody. Why, why would I want to give them a handout? I want to teach them hard work and doing the right thing. And this game cheats by giving female players handouts. The banker will dole out $1,900 in Monopoly money to each female player and $1,500 to each male. The gap continues every time a player passes go with women collecting $240 and men receiving $200. What? How? No, that's cheating. <laughs> How is that going to create equality? How is this going to create a debate? It's just, can you imagine playing this with kids? I've played Monopoly with kids. I've played this with adults and it's hard to play. Can you imagine now suddenly, oh no, sorry, Timmy. Uh, Susie's going to get more money than you because we're, we're trying to make a point that the gender pay gap is unfair. So you have to get paid less. What? No, I don't want to do that on family game night. That sounds horrible. Now, the, the rules apparently say you don't have to play that way, but they're clearly adding that rule for attention to grab headlines to create the buzz on Twitter so people will hopefully buy Monopoly games again because Hasbro isn't clearly selling enough Monopoly games. And my God, they've made a ton of really stupid Monopoly games. Uh, do you guys remember uh, Millennial <laughs> Monopoly? Because uh, they got a lot of backlash for this one. Uh, this was crazy. Uh, it's literally a parody of Millennials about veganism. And I love how the Mr. Monopoly Man is wearing a participation award on his, on his thing uh he's drinking the coffee with his earbuds in and this game is like crazy making f you don't have money you have uh experience points for travel meals at vegan re vegan restaurants music festivals and crashing on friends couches uh money doesn't always buy a great time but experiences whether good or bad will last forever adulting's hard you deserve a break from the rat race this is how this game was. So instead of like the typical tokens, it had like hashtags and crying emojis. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, forget real estate. You can't afford it anyway. Uh, this was sort of like this parody that just didn't work. And people were creatively offended or just thought how stupid um, embracing this is. Um, so Millennial Monopoly was yet another stupid version. And recently they also did Socialism Monopoly, which was odd. <laughs> Winning is for capitalists, which was just a takedown of socialism. And apparently you can't win it because you all take from the community pot and then everything goes to, to crap, uh, which was their sort of parody take on socialism, but then really not a good replay version. It's just you're going to buy a parody game. Uh, so th this is, look, this is the history of Monopoly. They, they just release anything they can. Uh, I mean, we went, I went through this whole version of the worst versions of Monopoly. I mean, look at this. They made a sun-made raisins Monopoly. <laughs> So when we're getting upset about Miss Monopoly, let's remember, there's the Best Buy edition. Yep, you remember that one? That was a fun one where you can go get, I can't even read what these items are, but wow, Best Buy. Woo, the Best Buy mascot's there. Uh, how about Bass Fishing edition? You know. <laughs> or the QVC edition? Oh, this dates well. I would love to play this one. Look how great this is. All those items you can buy that are now outdated. Uh, or how about the Alaska Idiorod Monopoly? Yeah, there's there's a cool one. Oh, Heinz. Think of all the ketchup. Oh, Oreida. Oreida tater tots. How, cre how creative. There's trucking fees. Uh, Littlest Pet Shop Edition. The Cat Lover Edition. Okay, well, that's pretty cute. I do love my cats. How about the Big Bang Theory? I mean, guys, you get the point. This is ridiculous. They made a Batman and Robin Collector's Edition with Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy and Bane. I mean, what's wrong with the Garfield Edition? Garfield's awesome. I don't have a problem with Garfield. But Phantom Menace, Episode 1 Monopoly. Of course, they've made Monopolies for everything. 
Street Fighter. They made a solid gold Monopoly that's worth $2 million with diamond-encrusted pieces. I mean, they the Nintendo version was pretty fun. But my point is, you, you can't just lose your, your mind over this, this version. Who cares about the version? Great. Make a women-empowering version. They must have already made one that sort of supported women in history. But this idea of, you know, empowering women, great. But the pay gap rule? Stupid. Really, really stupid and not helpful. We, we, women don't need handouts. Let, we, and I, I want to go and actually uh, give credit to a comedian friend of mine, Lindsay Glazer, who I urge you to support. Go follow her at Lindsay Glazer. She actually uh, was a friend early on and became a client. I, I help advise her on social media and I helped her do some of these photoshops, uh, but she's really funny. Uh, but she, you know, we shared a lot of the same frustrations and she was tweeting about this this morning, uh, but she created these, uh, we were together, I helped her make some of these in Photoshop, but creating these uh, monopoly community. So let's, let's envision what could it be like what are some of the things we can have in the women's edition uh you now identify as a man you can now use both bathrooms but you're still going to get judged on your looks <laughs> uh go to jail have your first lesbian experience these are just some of the cards that we could make that Lindsay made it's that time of the month enjoy an automatic week of vacation and pass off the pain of your uterine <laughs> lining breaking down to a male player who will cry like a bitch it's true Guys, it's a lot of pain. I don't know how they do it. Your nude photos are leaked. You get a promotion, a raise, and a new reality show starring your family. I know how that who that refers to. Oh, God, that's really true. Uh, you had a baby. Automatic maternity leave for you and your baby's daddy. Boss says take as much time as you want. She gets it because she's a female. Uh, by the way, when you return, you can bring your baby back to work for free employee daycare. Now, look, these are spot on. If we really want honest women in workplace dream scenarios, she's she's got something here. Uh, this was my favorite. Maybe this for me. Believe women card. Your coworker ate your lunch. At least you think he did. Who cares? Who knows? Send him to jail. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but my point being, this is just ridiculous. Uh, and she's been going off in a trade on, on tirade on there. I, I, I'm grateful uh, for her help. So go give her support. Very funny. I'm glad I always to, to, happy to promote her. Uh, but this idea that we can't, it's it, look, of course, women can and should make more than men. They can. That's what it's about. You got to work for it. Now, granted, the opportunities aren't always there. That's very valid. We have to understand that they haven't always been there. Uh, but a lot of women still have rose to the challenge and created their own businesses and made their own livelihoods. Uh, so this idea of handing out and letting little girls think, Oh yeah, well you'll get some money extra because, because that's not a cool way to, to show equality. That's not going to make people join this, this, this discussion. It's just going to make a bunch of trolls, which they're doing all over Twitter, complaining and saying, this is ridiculous. Monopoly, sexist male power. Look, there's clearly a, a sliding sale that's happening right now, and women are getting some power. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Men have had power for a really long time, so quit losing your mind. This is a silly game. It's not going to do well. It's going to do well just because people are going to collect it or just have it as a joke gift, I think, now because of this these silly rules, which is sad because I do think there's actually like a really important message here because they are trying to inspire and invest in women inventors and supporting that, and as we should. So kudos to them. But I feel like Monopoly and Hasbro, they, they don't really care they're just using this and the fact that they did this sort of pay gap rule it's, it's so clearly clickbait garbage to just get headlines so that way the game can pre-sell and sell out because they realize it may not sell otherwise god forbid they do like an inspirational version that you know actually inspires women versus resort to sort of the you know the cheesy gimmick that they didn't need uh that's what offends me more than anything is just this idea like you don't need to pass go and the women are going to get more than the men Look, that's silly. That can be an unwritten rule if you want to put that somewhere else and people can do that on their own. Uh, but that's silly. This idea that though they celebrated by uh, three, you can watch the video on their on their page on Twitter. Uh, they gave three young inventors uh, 220, that's how much money's in the game, $20,580 in real, not Monopoly money, uh, to these three inventors that they believe in. Um, and I support that wholeheartedly. That's great. Uh, that's what they should be doing. Um, but it's just like, I don't know. The gap and discussion that get the gap are important. Look, it got me talking about it. I understand what they're trying to do, but I don't think this is the way you do it. I just think this is more frustrating and going to cause more flack than than help. Um, and I think it's something we should should discuss. You all should discuss. Uh, the pay gap is real. Uh, I think it's finally starting to because people are pointing it out. It's starting to change as it should. Uh, but come on, this. 
the the scam is is gimmicky. That's not how you do it. Let's let's promote equality and and let's all start at the same level because if we start giving women more power and more say, that's just going to piss off all the men. We're going to say, "Oh no, see I told you the women are taking over. We have to stand up for our rights." And then suddenly we're all fighting again. We got to find that middle ground. There's a nice pace now where we're actually women, that you come on, we we're, we're listening. We believe. We're trying to do what we can do. But we can't keep yelling at men and now demanding more. It's just you're lifting the scale too too much. There's going to be a riot. And then things go bad. So let's be civil. Let's be calm. Let's take a deep breath and figure this out. And Hasbro, come on. You didn't need that gimmicky thing. Make the, the game empowering. Don't make it ridiculous. I don't want my kids cheating, learning how to cheat at the game. Yeah, Susie gets more. Timmy, you don't. That's not how you play family game night. That's just frustrating. And come on, guys, who's with me? Monopoly is already stressful enough. I mean, who's ever played a game of Monopoly where they don't, someone doesn't storm off or throw the board up? I mean, the game's just made to like show the evils of Monopoly and Gathering. And if, if Hasbro really wanted to do their fair share, they should have announced the real creator of Monopoly. Do you guys know this? It's crazy. Monopoly was actually created by a feminist named Lizzie uh, Maggi. Uh, she patented her board game that we know as Monopoly, but they stole it from her. This guy, Charles Darwin, Darrow, sorry, played it at, at a party and then uh, patented it before, or she had a patent. You guys, look up the history of Monopoly. It's crazy. And then Hasbro, Parker Brothers at the time, uh, they've just been screwing her since the beginning of this game. There's a lot of detail. And the reason this came out is because someone she made a game called The Landlord's Game, uh, which was the whole intent of sort of the opposite of what Monopoly did. Uh, and so she did all this stuff, and then uh, Parker Brothers took it, and then she was happy because like, oh, cool, you took my game, and they paid her $500 for, and no royalties, and then ran with the races and completely stole the idea, made all the money, uh, and it was crazy. And the reason this all came about was because someone later made the anti-monopoly game uh, and then was under attack by Parker Brothers who tried to sue him. Uh, he then researched all this case and went under uh, found all this history and that was back in 73 and then that case lasted for 10 years. So all of this data that he had saved during that case came out to really show not only did he win and was able to make the game, uh, but finally the truth about what happened came out. And still to this day, if you look up, they refuse to acknowledge. Uh, they Parker Brothers, when asked for comment, always just say, uh, Hasbro credits the official Monopoly game produced and played today to Charles Darrow. Uh, and they just will not do it. So guy, Hasbro, look, go read that story. It's fascinating. This should be a movie. I can't believe it's not already. Some studio is going to probably buy it up now thanks to Miss Monopoly because Hasbro is going to now get all this flack. Uh, and then Hasbro is going to look really crappy. But Hasbro, if you want to sh really support female empowerment, hey, why not release an edition that finally gives credit to the original creator, Lizzie Mag uh, Maggi? Let's do it, huh? Come on, guys. Hashtag Lizzie Maggi. Let's support this online and, and hit Hasbro up because, look, you can't have Miss Monopoly without Lizzie because Lizzie clearly had a huge, huge, huge part of your game that you just pushed out. Uh, so if we're going to talk about female inventors, let's support the female inventor of Monopoly, shall we, Hasbro? Talk about hypocrisy. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Monopoly. Those are some of the worst Monopolies. What do you think? Am I crazy? Do you support this? Uh, is this a good way to get the pay gap conversation going, or is this going backwards? Is this causing more fights? I'm curious what your thoughts are. Hit me up on social media, at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those places, or down here in the comments, uh, and I'll be back with some more videos later today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk soon. Bye!